I am from the Philippines. I am from Phoenix. Together, Together we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. In welcome, welcome to, to our, our weekly, weekly Chica Chica. Chica. <laughs> hey, we're actually getting better at that. High five up here. That now that we're finally back in Phoenix, that we're going to start getting back to doing Monday Night Chica Chica on a regular basis again. Yes. And we just got in Friday night. Yeah. After 18? Yeah. Four and a half, ten and a quarter. And one and a half. One, uh, one and a half. Yeah, about 16 hours flying plus, plus a two hour and a five hour. Lit. Yeah, it was just a long day Friday. Yes, that's true. Saturday we got to hit the, gr hit the ground with our feet running that, uh, we had a, in a uh, fundraiser event with Jack Harris Charity that we work with. Yes. And that was actually pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, we hadn't had stuff unpacked well enough or gear ready to go well enough. I didn't get any photo or video of the entire thing. <laughs> I did get to do a uh, video that the priest had brought over with him. Yeah. And that was a bit of a challenge because the entire thing was in Vietnamese and... I speak no Vietnamese, so I was having to take you know, it's both of us. visual cues from him. It's the two of us challenge, and I'm just trying to, like, more of a physical the language, if it's go, like, you know. <laughs> but yeah. I guess it works. It worked out well. There's a lot to say. There's a lot, a lot of ways to communicate. Either you don't speak the language or just do the what are called sign language, their language, or sign language, so at, the, uh, at least it worked. Kind of do some hand gestures and figure it out. I know. It, it was cool. And then today we got the chance to meet up your sister, my sister-in-law, your eldest sister. My oldest sister, Carolyn. That... And we actually get to meet up also our neighbor and bring her uh, her bus along. So imagine that we're really productive, don't you? Oh, well, doing this chica chica, we're doing a laundry. <laughs> yeah, we. St uh, sorry about the setup and probably not the greatest lighting situation either. But uh, we just set the camera down in the living room and are doing a quick chica chica. Yeah. To get back in the habit, and we are still in the process of trying to pack, unpack, yeah. clean, put away, and get life back in order, and then recuperating from jet lag as well. Yeah, some people says that it took them two to three days to get recuperate but for us we got moving <laughs> right. it wasn't that bad and that's oh. kind of what i like about flying to and from the philippines i make sure to leave first thing in the morning yeah and whether you're either direction you're going that if you leave here first thing in the morning you wind up traveling all day so you're traveling about 20 hours yeah but you're getting there in the evening and that way you're naturally going you know it's time you're supposed to go to bed anyhow that's true and so as long as you slept a little bit on the plane you basically get there drop off your bags in a hotel and go to bed and the same thing coming back that we left first thing in the morning and we got back later in the evening we got here about six o'clock Seven, yeah. Yeah, about oh, seven, seven o'clock yeah. when we roll in the house. And we get the chance to like at least chica chica with Rick and your son. So yeah. And then it was bedtime, so we went down and laid down anyhow. So and we wake up on Saturday like nine o'clock. Yeah, we did sleep in a little bit. We did sleep in a little bit. I'll give you that much. Yeah. Uh, today we slept in a little bit. Matter of fact, Monday, tomorrow morning, we're actually gonna set the alarm. Set the alarm on the the on the dresser so that way we have to get out of bed to shut the thing off. Guess I have work tomorrow. I'm glad I gave that up for Lent. <laughs> I have work, I know. I have work. Hey, there's got to be some advantage to being fat, old, and broke. <laughs> or broke in. That is kind of broke too though, but anyways. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just want to give an This idea. is just kind of a recap of the vacation itself. Yeah. We are going to do the Chica Chica for the... Updates. Uh, I want to say Mandawi. Oh, uh, Mactan. Mactan to Manila. Manila. It's the leg of our trip. Yeah. But we're going to do that on Wednesday. Yeah. 
and that one will be a little bit, you know, a lot better quality done. So bear with us on this one, please. <laughs> it was, yeah. What's your <clears throat> thoughts uh, for the entire vacation? Thirty days wasn't even close to enough to. Yeah. To Actually, be in the Philippines. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Like it's like three days total for the to uh, or let's say two days for the total for the travel time, right? Both go back and forth. Two days, like those twenty-four hours. Well, oh, it's it's about twenty four hours each way. Oh yeah, that's like two days. So yeah, and then I will say um, for me it's worth it because it's I got a chance to spend time with my family. Most of the time, like over over seventy five percent of it, I got a chance to spend. <laughs> it's a bias for him. Yes. I got a chance to spend time with my of course my parents because it's been like um three years that i didn't see them so it's biased for him that's like more of me <laughs> he just like so quiet and like zip up <laughs> this trip was all about sydney i'll give you that much that which we i think we almost tried to do too much because we only spent five days in dumaguete yeah uh we did two days in oslo oslo then like 12 days in Tibonga and, and the then rest about a week in, in Manila and uh, Cebu and then a week in Manila yeah over 20 days so uh, it's like compressed the, the time is really compressed but I feel like 30 days is not enough but you go to the Philippines but it's good at least spending time um, with my family and some friends I gotta apologize with some of my other friends that I did not have the chance to meet up I know you're making comfort with me so I'm sorry and some of my relatives I'm sorry it's just 30 days is not enough <laughs> I need yeah. to have a priority it's just it was kind of funny our friends here oh it seems like you've been gone forever and we're sitting there man it seems like we got you yesterday, yesterday yeah it's just so funny oh uh, Definitely, definitely would have liked to have spent another week in Dumaguete. Yeah. Explore more. Don't um, that in the end, Manila, after we got through some trials and tribulations that we'll explain on Wednesday, <laughs> uh, was actually a lot of fun. And I yes. kind of would like to go back to Manila sometime in the future. True. Uh, when we can move there, I would like to spend a couple weeks in Manila sometime. Just in that's. There's a lot of history there that I never realized, and there's yeah. a lot of things I'd like to go see and do that we just didn't have the time to go see and do. Part of it is, it takes forever to go someplace. Yeah, it, it's like the trip. We went 14, uh, 14 kilometers, and it took us about 20 minutes to do it. <laughs> it's like from my Kuya's con, uh, uh, place to going back to each to hotel takes like four or five minutes. Yeah, or, yeah. It, it just took, it, it took an insane amount of time because of traffic and, yeah, it took us about 40 minutes to do the 14 kilometers. Yeah, imagine that. I could, I could just run a half marathon. We figured it out. We were, we averaged on that trip, we averaged like three mile an hour. Yeah. <laughs> and... You, you probably you probably could have ran it quicker than that if you, if you would have had that kind of endurance. Yeah. But uh, in Manila, especially the tra the traffic is just unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, I've got some videos of the traffic that I, I may post just a, a video of nothing but traffic in in the Philippines in Manila in particular. Yeah. Um. Uh, we had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. And. In, then it really convinced me that yeah that there's yeah. going to be some some things to get used to there's some advantage and disadvantage and then one thing that i will say i like in the philippines because it's inexpensive i can say like you have like 11 person eating in like a restaurant type and we're just paying like four thousand it's like close to 19 dollars come to think of that and it's a High, not high end. It's just, remember in the Pacific, that? Pacific. Oh Pacific yeah. Resort and like we're not we're eleven person eating out 
and then we pay like four thousand one hundred ninety. Then come to think of that, here in the U.S., you cannot pay less than one hundred dollars for eleven person, and then yeah. and then normally when we eat out for the two of us or the two person, we normally spend like four or five dollars. Come to think of that, and here if you give me, we just bought our breakfast this morning in McDonald's and we spent like twenty dollars and forty seven cents though. So, not the two of us but when in the Philippines did like either four person or six person, right? Either yeah, there's we, a lot of options because in the Philippines you could either eat street food, you could go in a restaurant or a curanderia, you can go to fast food, you can go if you wanna go in a um Dennis type uh restaurant in the Philippines, you can go and it's, you know, you could see a lot of difference. So, um, and you could do a lot of street foods as well. And they have like per packs, it's not bulky. If you just want to try something that you want to eat, you can just buy it. <laughs> just like looks. We're actually going to do a video. Uh, she's getting all of our expenses done on a spreadsheet yeah. and we'll do a video that breaks down by daily what we spend and yeah. by area, the Dumaguete, the Oslo, so on and so forth, so that you get an idea of what it, it is at. Yeah. And you got to remember that these are going to be vacation expenses. They're not actual living expenses. True. And there's places in Sabonga we spent a fair amount of money um, doing a uh, uh, Mother's Day celebration and that we made, you know bought enough did enough to have yeah basically the entire neighborhood if they wanted to stop by and quite a few of them did it's like let's say over 100 people we'll see that minimum you know. yeah we we, we Put on quite a feast for a lot of people, but it was a way cool celebration, and a lot of yeah. people that may not have had a, a Mother's Day feast for their own family were able to come over and join with us. Yes, that was awesome. Uh, was so really that was cool. actually a really cool thing. The money we dropped on the backpack giveaway. Yeah. So, the expenses we give you are not living expenses; they're just what we spent on this vacation. Yes, that's true. But I think people would like that one, too. Mm -hmm. So we will be doing that here in the next week or two after we get some things, some personal issues settled from being gone for a month. <laughs> we need to open our mails. Uh, yeah, we need to go through a month's worth of mail. Uh, I've got some paperwork I need to do for Social Security that yeah. needs to get taken care of pronto. Yeah. Uh, like, like I say, there's just a lot of catching up that we're going to be needing to do here in the next few weeks. <laughs> That's but true. overall, the vacation was an awesome, awesome experience. experience. That's true. Uh, there's a ton of things that were way cool that we were able to do first time for either one of us. And it was really, really awesome that we were able to do it together. That's true. It's like more. Uh, the diving with the whale sharks uh, was, was phenomenal. Was. And the diving to, that we to have shared to... that together was a way cool thing. The, the scuba diving that we did was way cool. Yes, the Tomalog Falls. Uh, our trip in Cebu with the Sarau, the flowers that we have. Oh, that was to. that was beautiful. And one day we were able to. <laughs> and that's actually going to go down on another video. Uh, yeah. We're going to have a few individual videos that are just personal thoughts and comments about Filipino society and, and culture. That that's why. I am so attracted to it and why it's so different than an American culture. And there's kind of a cool story about the cab driver that, that helped yeah. us out. Yeah. And the, the friendship that was built and, and just something that's really neat about the, the Filipino culture and being able to build a friendship like that and, yeah, and quick. so quickly. That's true. But. But overall, it was great. That was awesome. It was worth it. It's worth it. To, to spend every single money that we save for three years. And at this point, I have no doubt in my mind that, I, that it will be a move that I'll be able to make and adjust to. Yeah. But I notice the battery on this is about dying, so we're actually going to end this one. 
and we will talk with you on Wednesday a little bit more in depth on Mactan to Manila. Manila. Mabuhay! Buhay.